Hey folks, it's Chris Huntingford here, otherwise known as the Tattooed CRM Guy on Twitter. Now today, I have a bit of an interesting subject because I'm currently running a number of um, sort of airlifts and in the day sessions and one of the things that keeps on coming up is application lifecycle management. Now I thought about how I could demo this and obviously I'm quite lucky because I've created a number of trials and I've got loads of different instances in my trials. but. What happens if you create a brand spanking new trial? And I've done a video before this previously showing you how to set up a trial with like M, the um, the E5 licensing, the, uh, the Dynamics licensing, as well as a lot of the Power Platform licensing. But at the moment, you're allowed one trial per user. The other thing is that because of capacity at the moment, they're not just giving away space. So you will need to set up trial environments. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a number of trials in an environment by creating brand spanking new users. Yep. So as you can see, I'm the Power Platform Admin Center, and you can see I've got two trials, right? I've got one assigned to Tony Stark and one assigned to me. If I create a brand new trial, I'm going to, it doesn't really matter what I call, put, it, uh, put in here, because I am going to break this. Let's go to trial, and we're going to make sure there's a CDS database. Awesome. And we're going to say yes to deploying sample apps purely because of habit. And watch what happens. You've reached the limits of one trial environment to create a production environment to continue. Okay, so it won't let me create a production environment because I don't have a quota to do that. I've surpassed my quota, right? So how do we get around this? Well, it's not really about getting around this. It's how you are able, it's how you are able to create environments to test for now um, until the future. So let's go into the office portal. So portal.office.com and we're gonna open up the Office Admin Studio. And you can see that I've got, this is the brand new setup. What I'm gonna do is drill into active users. And first thing we're gonna do is we wanna add a new user so that we can obviously use them to create a trial environment after that. So create a new user. Like I said, this is a trial at the moment. So I can do pretty much anything. You probably won't be allowed to do this in your corporate tenants, don't try. So we're gonna create a new trial user. Let's pick something. Susan Jenkins, sounds awesome. And we're gonna call her Susan J. Create a password of which I'm not going to tell you. Hit next. And here you're gonna assign some of the user licenses. So one of the key things that I wanna say is you must assign an M365 license. I do it all the time. The second one you wanna do is you wanna add the Dynamics 365 customer engagement plan. So what I've done is I've actually built this tenant through, as I said, I've explained this in a previous video. I've built it through using trials.dynamics.com and I found that that's the best way to do it because you just get loads more access than everything else, right? So I'm just gonna add those two licenses. I don't really need much more for this user. Next thing that's really key. Now this is naughty, but we're gonna do it anyway because um, I'm not known for being the most well-behaved human being. We're gonna make this user a global admin. Yes, blindly make them a global admin. No, in a regular production scenario, you would never do this. But remember, this is a trial, okay? If you do if you do this outside of a trial, you probably won't have access anyway. So I don't feel too bad about that. Finish editing, and awesome. So what'll happen is this user will then be given uh, those licenses as well as various access into the solution. So if I take a look at Susan Jenkins, and I take a look at licenses and apps, you will see that she's been licensed for customer engagement plan and M365. So what we're gonna do is now, I need to get access to that trial, right? I wanna be able to create that brand new trial environment. So I'm gonna fire up an incognito window, right? And I'm gonna go portal.office.com and let's stick in her username. Cool. And what we'll do from there is pop in the password. And uh, this is gonna sign her on as a brand spanking new user into Office 365. Now, Susan's a global admin, so let's take a look. If I go to admin.powerplatform.com, guess what I'm gonna see? Anticipation. All the environments, look at that. Now, let's, let's test something out, right? Uh, let's go to, let's go to new. Hopefully this will work. We're gonna call this dev. 
So if I'm if I'm running the uh, Power Apps Airlift, you will need a dev environment. So we're going to call this dev dev Power Apps Airlift, the most convoluted name I could probably think of. Obviously, make it a trial. You want a common data service database. The next thing is you definitely want to select sample apps and data. I always do just so that I've got some stuff to use. And uh, we're going to go save. All the little cogs ticking in the background and there we go susan's trial is currently being deployed kaboom now you'll see it says prepping instance uh shouldn't take too long give it a couple of moments and eventually susan's instance will be made available to the rest of us but while that's happening right let's go to make.powerapps.com cool so shoot back there you can see her instance is ready yes in seconds make.powerapps.com, obviously the maker experience where I get to build stuff, the most Microsoft-y term I could ever come across. You can see that those instances are now available directly to Susan. And because she's a global admin, she's got the ability to go and work within those specific instances. And that's from a security perspective, right? It gets handed down. If I go and take a look, now remember, I'm still in Susan's account, right? I'm gonna switch out and I'm gonna go back into my account that I was busy working within. Let's take a look at me, you can see, right? Let's go and take a look at my admin.pyrapps.com and we'll give this a refresh. Hey presto, there we go, there's Susan's account. You can see she owns the trial. And if I go to make.pyrapps.com, let's get rid of that, you will actually see eventually, it might give us a refresh. Sometimes it does take a little couple of moments to pop in. Right, so probably about five minutes later, I'm not too sure. I get, I, get, I, did, I did wait, wait a few minutes, but um, if I refresh, let's see what happens in the maker experience. I love the term, the maker experience. It's really, really cool. There we go. Hey, presto, dev, my Power Apps Airlift contents. Awesome. So I'm still logged in as me, and I can do some stuff. That, okay, so let's, let's run a real quick test, right? So. Let's create a new entity. Let's call the entity, let's call the entity Jeff. Don't ever use my naming convention, it's terrible. Create, and awesome. There's my entity, right, so you can see, I can do stuff. And as further evidence, if I go into the actual environments and I go and check out some of the security, so let's have a look, let's go to settings, let's go to users and permissions, and we'll, jump into the users section. Man, I love this stuff, it's super cool. Let's go to Chris. So here's my user, you can see I've already been added in here. Very, very cool, right? So you can see my user and there's all my information. Oops, that's the wrong one. Let's use this one over here. There we go, there's me, awesome. And, Let's take a look at my security roles. This was auto magically assigned to me. Hey, I'm a system admin. Wow, that's because I'm a global admin. So there you have it, folks. Very, very basically, just to recap, in your Power Platform Admin Center, if you aren't able to create another trial and you're currently um, without capacity like I am, so you don't have the space in your environment to do anything, just to make sure you understand the capacity side of things. If I take a look at capacity, you can see that I've been a bad boy. <laughs> Definitely been over capacity, so I will not be able to create any more databases. But all I did was I created a new user and then I was able to create a new trial environment. So if you're trialing out things like the Power Apps Airlift or App in a Day, sorry, Admin in a Day, this is probably the easiest way I've found to do this type of stuff. So hopefully this helps you. Uh, rock and roll, and I'll be chatting to you hopefully very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>